One of the easiest ways to have consistency in your publications is to set up paragraph styles. By setting up paragraph styles, anyone who lays out a page will know what the proper font is for headlines, for cut lines or captions, for body text, for sidebars, for any element which you want to predefine in your publication. So to get to paragraph styles, go up to Window, find Styles, and select Paragraph Styles. And you'll get a little box that looks like this. The basic paragraph, which is in brackets, is the way your pages, uh, the way that your text will flow in from another document, say Microsoft Word, if you don't do anything to it. If I click on something, and it has a plus next to it, it means that somehow that paragraph style has been altered. And we'll see a bit more of that later. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start with my headline and I'm going to create a paragraph style for it. If I click anywhere in the text box right now, I can see in my control bar up here that it is in Myriad Pro and 46 type and that I'm using bold condensed. Now, when I'm selecting a headline type, I like to choose a type that ha or a font that has lots of variations so that not every headline looks exactly the same on your page. But this is going to be my basic headline and maybe the one that I'm most often going to use at the top of the page. So I can click anywhere in this in Paragraph Styles, I'm going to come over to the little lines on the right-hand side, which mean there are more options, and I am going to select New Paragraph Style. And immediately, I'm going to get a dialog box that allows me to name this, and I'm going to call this Headline. I'm not going to worry too much about these other things. I'm just going to leave them at their default right now. But notice as I work my way down, I can see it's bold condensed. If I want to change it to something else, I could at this point, or the sizes. Indents, I'm going to use keep this left aligned. But notice I could also center it, or I could justify it, or full justify it. Usually, you never want to full justify. And for most publications, the style right now is to justify on the left. I'm not going to worry about tabs or any of those other things right now. But notice there's lots of lots of options. And I'm just going to click OK. So when I click in here now, I'm going to say, I want this paragraph style. And I because it's a paragraph, I don't have to select the, all the type. I just have to select anything in the paragraph. And it's going to go to headline. Notice if I come down here in the body text, it would change to that too. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to come here for my deck, and I'm going to do the same thing. It's in basic paragraph right now, but I have chosen Myriad Pro, light italic. I'm going to call it new paragraph style, and I'm going to call it deck. And do the same thing, just go with the defaults, and then establish this as a deck. For my body text right here, I'm going to get a little bit more complicated. I actually have already selected the font that I'm going to use, 11 Point Minion Pro, and maybe I want to do 11 Point Minion Pro with a 12 point letting. And so actually, I'm going to select all that right now and give it that 12 point letting, and I'm going to fill it in with just a bit more placeholder text right here to fill that out so you can see what this looks like. I also want to indent this point to 5, but I'm going to do that when I actually set up the paragraph style so that I can show you a variation. So I'm going to click anyone in, anywhere in here. Once again, new paragraph style, and I'm going to call this body text. Basic character formats, I could change the letting right here. I'm not going to worry about it. But down here where it says indents and spacing, I'm going to left justify it. And my left indent for my first line, I don't want to use the left indent 
because it will indent the whole side. I just want to indent the first line in the paragraph. And I'm going to do this um, 0.25 because I think it's going to be easier for you to see right now and tell it OK. You didn't see anything happen. happen. I'm going to select all of this and now go to body text and you see it all indent all of my paragraphs. This is obviously not a newspaper because I would have much shorter paragraphs for that. So now if I'm a page designer and I am laying out my page for the first time, I could go here, I could go to headline, and then I could say fill with placeholder text and I could begin to design my page. What I would probably want to do, though, is make this a little bit smaller, maybe 36, because my headlines do get smaller as they go down the page, and I might even want to consider that I do them in bold. Now notice, as I do this, it now tells me that my headline, um, let me not do this in bold, let me do this just in... Um, Oh, what am I going to do? In regular. Here I go. So that I can see this headline right here. And let me zoom back in. Now, with this headline, when I click on it, notice if I type in, if I click in the box, it's going to give me a plus, which means that I have somehow altered that paragraph style. If I wanted, I could go ahead and create a new paragraph style and call this second headline. I'm not going to do that. If I realize that I've made a mistake on here, I can always hold down Option and click and notice it will take out the plus and it will change it back to the default style for this particular paragraph style. Now in my publication, I want the first letter of each story to have a drop cap, to be three lines tall, and to really fill up the space. So in order to do that, I am going to come up to New Paragraph Style once again. I'm going to call this Body Text with a drop cap. And then I'm going to come down here to where it says Drop Caps and Nested Styles and tell it I want it to have three lines and one character, and tell it OK. And now when I choose body text with drop cap, it indents it. Notice, though, that it still has the indent. So if I make a mistake when I'm setting up a paragraph style, I don't have to start all over again. I can simply double click, and I can come back and change. And what I want to change is the indent and the spacing. And I do not want that first line to indent any longer. And so I'm going to tell it OK. And now my body cap, cap and drop cap, if I choose it anywhere else, it will do exactly the same thing. I'm going to change these back. 